And joining me now from New York City is Justin Kuzmarski. He is the president of NAV Valuation and Advisory. Justin, uh, pretty amazing stuff. Why is China embracing this type of technology, do you think? Well, thanks again, Mike. I think they break it down into two main factors why China is embracing this technology. Like the first way China is embracing this technology is facial recognition is really the heart of artificial intelligence. I think China has come to the conclusion, both from a government standpoint and for the commercial development, that facial recognition rather than finger uh, print recognition is the heart of commerce. And I think really the second reason that was touched upon a little earlier is surveillance. China wants to be able to perform surveillance on both criminals and ordinary citizens. For instance, in the city of Shenzhen, Jaywalking is now enforced now via facial recognition is definitely a development to watch. You know, it's so interesting. I was in China not too long ago, and you just kind of feel like uh, the future is now there. I mean, mm -hmm. mobile payment, you never see people with credit cards or money paying for anything. And now this, uh, it seems like the U.S. is so far behind when it comes to this sort of thing. Why, why do you think China is so advanced and so moving at, at such a rapid speed with technology? I think it's a great question. I think there's many reasons, but getting back to U.S. versus China, it's not that the technology in China is that much more superior than the U.S., but there are really three reasons why China has taken a double-down bet on facial recognition. Like The first thing is China has a lot less lax security uh, regulations. So China, in terms of privacy, doesn't have the restrictions that the U.S. has and actually encourages government to adapt the new technology to keep track of criminals and citizens alike. I think the second cultural reason why China has doubled down on facial recognition has to do with the culture is accustomed to identification. When you enter a stadium in China or you enter a, a, a dorm or a hotel, the use of facial recognition technology is accepted. And I think the third reason why uh, facial recognition technology has proven ripe in China has to deal with data. Companies look at China and its ability to capture this data as definitely an opportunity to be captured and analyzed in the future. What about concerns? Do you see any? I think there's definitely pitfalls, but the major pitfall is definitely the lack of uh, of privacy enforcement. Unlike Western countries, China embraces and encourages government to use the technology to build upon that ID verification society uh, and to use it both commercially and for government oversight. Yeah, so extend it out for us a little bit further. Applications by companies, schools, where do you see this path going? I think if you really look at the examples, whether it's China Construction Bank using facial recognition for payment of a vendor for, for soda and for goods, or Baida, the internet service company, using it uh, to track stadium access. I think it's going to both a commercial and government mainstay that is here to, to really be the cornerstone of the future. I think the Kentucky Fried Chicken partnership with Ant Financial really is something that is taking it to a new level. When you can walk into Kentucky Fried Chicken and the goal is for KFC to determine your mood, to be able to serve you a milkshake or, or an extra basket of, of of chicken or fries, that is taking artificial intelligence to a level that nobody in the world has developed. And I think it's pretty exciting uh, from a consumer standpoint, but also raises a whole host of privacy concerns. Yeah, it may also lead to a diet down the road a piece as well. Uh, <laughs> Possibly. Justin, Justin, always a pleasure talking to you. Thanks so much.